Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we'll see how to take X path using parent tag. See the thing is uh, in uh, some real time we uh, come to know that there are no proper uh, uh, properties are available for taking X path or CSS selector. So in that case what we should do? I will tell you, see, suppose we, we are going to take X path for this one. So here we'll go to inspect element and we'll inspect this element right so here if you see there are a lot of properties we can take here we can take type is equal to text text might not be unique but at least name and id and these things will be definitely unique and here placeholder also will be unique only so we can take any uh, property and we can write easily there will not be a problem i will show you it's just a second of task how to write for this one it's very very easy see email right sorry we have to write in single course see one element matching and we got the and we could look at this element but if you uh, do it for uh, some pages where no uh, unique property is available to locate that element uh, like in e-commerce website and all then how to do that because these days uh, these e-commerce website and all if you go and uh, and most of the project uh, are kind of if you are in e-commerce domain and all it's very very difficult for you to automate so now uh, in that case what uh, we have to do we have to traverse it through parent so here suppose uh, we are um, we want to click on this gift for all option so how what we have to do we will inspect this element see if you see these element property you can uh, see that it's not it's not possible to take it directly sorry i click on that image link so it went here see now right click copy and copy the element and paste it in the notepad see here you will see there are no proper uh, unique property which is only for this elements which we can use it so how we will do that in that case what we have to do is we have to traverse parent so first we will go to parent and then we'll traverse each and every child and we'll reach here because see no unique attribute here so we can't take this so for to do that what we have to do is we have to check all the parent objects first so see suppose this is one span class right this span class comes under this a tag so we'll close this a tag right so now if you go little up this a tag is coming is coming under li class so we'll close this class also and now you see there are so many li classes right see for gift of gift for all one li class for gift for kids another li class right so these we cannot close because all these are siblings they are not inside each other right so now we'll go to one more level up so this is the ol class under which all these li classes are coming if you close it you can see it's highlighting right if you inspect here you will see all these elements are highlighting so all these things are coming under this ol class so what we have to do we have to do see here we can see we got some unique attributes so we'll see if we can first reach this parent object right here class is present unique class name is present so we'll write the uh, x path for this first and then we'll traverse for all the element right so to do that first we'll go to any add-on whatever you are using i am using crow path so i will go to crow path 
and I will write x path for that and we'll check whether directly we are able to reach uh, to this tag or not. So here tag name is ol. So we'll give ol braces at the rate class equals to and we'll copy paste. P guys, please always copy paste the property value. Don't try to uh, write it because it is case sensitive also and it might have some spaces and all and while writing you can miss it so it will not work so always better to copy paste the property value now we'll hit and we'll see one matching element so clearly we can reach this class directly so now what we have to do now under this all li elements are coming so what we can do if we want see for starting of x part we always give two forward slash you guys must be knowing this now from first element parent element x part further if we are traversing to child uh, x part we have to give only single forward slash no double forward slash double forward slash means you are writing x part and you are starting uh, the x part and single forward slash means you are traversing to child so here we are traversing to child so below that ol class there is li class so there are so many li classes right so this is for one li class this is two this is three this is four and this is and this one is 6 so here what we can do here we can give li see simple now if you give li it is showing you 31 elements matching because here we have uh, this arrow also right so total if you uh, click on this one by one and count it will be uh, 31 elements so now in 31 elements we need that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, if we give index of 6, it should highlight to give for all. See, it is highlighting to give for all. See, it was showing 31 elements because in this page, you can only see this 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. But 30, uh, what uh, selenium does, whether element is visible or not, it will count. So, as other elements are also there, it is counting total 31. So, if I, I will show you, if I give here 31, it will show the last one. See, so total 31, so it was showing 31, but we wanted 6th six, sixth element. So, see, now it is not visible to us because it is not on the screen. See, it is highlighting this one. So, like this, we reach to our desired element suppose in this one see here luckily we got uh, unique uh, property value for the old class in some cases you might not get property unique property for that parent class as well so what here you have to do you have to go one level up so we we have to go here right because this ol class is coming under this so again you can see here also we are getting uh, unique property value so here id is better than this class so we'll use this id so and tag name is also div class so what we have to do we have to go one level up so we'll start from div braces at the rate id because we are using id single slash and then now we will go to one child right here to ol so we'll give one forward slash and now if you enter then also it will highlight give for all because first you traverse here and then here and then inside this you went 
to the child so uh, we can uh, do this i hope this might have helped you so what i will uh, give you is see this this might be at the initial stage this might be difficult for you to directly do on this kind of uh, uh, e-commerce website and all so what we can do we can take some easy website and first we can try there and once it is working there then you come back here and uh, try to do that so i'm taking one this simple uh, uh, website here see these are the menu tabs right suppose you have to click here on selenium right so what we will do we will inspect this selenium element so here if you see this unique property tab selenium is there but in some test cases what you have to do you need you can't take that selenium text because it might change uh, tomorrow it might change and some test cases like the fourth element you have to select the fourth menu tab you have to select so in that case what you have to do you can't take that selenium and even if suppose here selenium is there but for a moment just suppose that selenium tag uh, text is not there then how will you uh, click here right so for that what we should do is see we should close this a tag and then it comes under this li right see because here also you are not getting any proper uh, uh, unique uh, property value so you will close this and then see so many allies are there this is the fourth selenium ally we want but before that see this comes under this ul correct so this ul we can see we got some unique property so first we will write x part for this menu this uh, class so here tag name is ul so we will write ul braces at the rate property we are using id id is equal to under the single comma we will write menu primary and we will see whether it is working or not it is showing one element matching and it is highlighting also now you have to go to again different allies right so for different allies what you can do if you give directly ally now again we will give one single forward slash because we are traversing to child so if you give ally it will check it, it will show 10 elements matching right and we need fourth element correct one two three four so here we can give li index four so it will highlight see it is highlighting selenium right and in case we can do same thing here again in case if even this ul class also doesn't have any unique property value we should take this div class value right i will if you guys want i will show you this also see tag name is div braces at the rate property we are taking class and value we have copy pasted from there and then now we are traversing to child see this is the child of this one ul class is the child of div1 right ul tag is the child of div1 so now we are traversing from parent to child so we will give only single forward slash and we check see now also it is uh, highlighting it is locating the element and we'll write in the code and we'll see this is a simple program now we will see driver dot find element by dot we are using xpath so we'll take xpath and we have copy pasted from the browser we'll write it here and what we have to do we have to click right so we'll take click and see it should work now whether it is clicking on that particular link or not
it is running it has opened the browser see it is clicking it clicked so fast so that some window and all open but it clicked on that selenium link we have seen so guys i hope uh, my this video have helped you to uh, taking the x path when the properties property values are not uniquely identi identifiable if property values are not unique you can traverse from parent to child so i hope now uh, you will be very clear how to take x path even when property values are not unique thank you guys for watching for my video i hope you all have liked it thank you